This week you can win an M4 Desolate Space in minimal wear condition. To enter like every week, like, comment and subscribe and click to the posting on my Discord server linked below. Thanks! I lift off CS2 trading for one week and this time in a foreign and ducking expensive country. The rules of this challenge are comparable simple. I am just allowed to spend money in real life and also online in this case, that I have made as profit in CS2 trading in advance. So if, for example, my bromance Kasi here accidentally sent me his knife, <laughs> I would have $110 in my balance, which I can use on food, mobility, clothes or just for living. And in this episode, anything that helps me survive at ducking minus 15 degrees Celsius, 5 degrees in burger country units. At the end, I also have to pay my bills. So electricity, internet, only fans and so on. So it will be really interesting to see if I can make enough money within one week with just trading virtual in-game items. So without further ado, let's start. After this message of my sponsor, SkinsMonkey.com. SkinsMonkey is an automated CSGO bot trading site. They offer a huge amount of skins to instantly trade to, 24-7 live chat support and a 35% bonus on every cash deposit. With our referral code NEON, you can get a free up to $5 bonus on your first trade when exchanging items worth at least $100. So like you can see here, I've catalyzed a little bit and found this cool deal on SkinsMonkey. I also use my $5 bonus, I just selected these 5 items out of my inventory for these two gut knife safari meshes field testing. I even got some leftover balance on the side which I can use for my next trade. The two gut knives were on trade logs so I just saved them onto the side but some days later I could just withdraw them to my steam and as you can see here I've got a really good upgrade and with my bonus code also a really good deal. So check out Skins Monkey right now, link to the side with my bonus code is in the description. So, it is the first day of our challenge. So, we will need to make some profit to just have enough money to even go to our destination. I have a friend there, so I don't have to pay for any accommodation, but mobility and so on will cost a lot because this country is ducking expensive. So, we start with this really big trade, actually. This guy had a low float phase for butterfly Doppler, which he wanted to downgrade because he couldn't find any trades for it. So I agreed that I give him all of these knives so he can easily sell them. And in the end, I also made around 5% of profit there, which is fair in my opinion because this phase 4 low foot is comparable hard to sell. So we end up with in total $122 of profit. And be aware that these values might differ a little bit because this trade is like one month old and I'm only recording this now. Don't be surprised. Next up, we are starting with actually the three biggest deals in this video. So let's start and go. We need money for the flight, okay? We bought a flip nice sapphire and some really unliquid items from the Bravo collection for a loss actually. I bought this flip knife sapphire for 2,700 US dollars, but the value went down in the meantime. Luckily, really luckily, I always list my items on several sites, even comparable small ones. On the small ones, I don't refresh the prices that often because it's just the small sites, they don't have that much volume. But luckily, I did that. Because on small sites, if you just list your item there, even though it's like 10 to 20% more than buff price, there's still a good chance that somebody buys it because you're just the cheapest guy that listed a flip knife sapphire there. Which really happened. I sold this flip knife sapphire at the time worth around 2700 for around 3000 US dollars after fees. So this deal in the end made us around 269 dollars of profit, but it was more luck than skill to be honest. Then we went to some marketplaces and sniped some items. We sniped all of these and more for a total of 131 US dollars of profit. So, three really big deals and now we are actually prepared and can reveal our destination. I just say salmon, vikings and for some reason a lot of weird packaging on the groceries. Welcome to Norway. The flight there costs 320 US dollars her direction. And I instantly prepared for Norwegian everyday prices by getting ducking ripped off at the airport for a $24 lunch. And this wasn't even in Norway. This was at the airport in Austria. I'm just retarded. So now, after some time and money, 
We are in Norway, and our little survival challenge, both with money and the ducking cold there, starts tomorrow. With my laptop, which I actually need to trade and work there, not working. Nice! Until I realized that these Vikings up there have a switch for certain power outlets. Oh! So let's actually start with my first Norwegian trade. And this trade is a really expensive one, really fitting to Norwegian prices. This trade brought us a low float Statrek M9 Doppler with a beautiful pattern. And yeah, we also got some other skins with it and traded my Karambit Doppler Phase 2 for it for a total of 98 US dollars of profit. Next up, we are trading a Bayonet Marble Fade for a Bayonet Marble Fade and some gloves. It was a really low float 0.002 beta pattern Bayonet Marble Fade. So we agreed on this deal, making us after the float and pattern around $19 of profit. And the next one is a Mister, I forgot your name, who wanted to trade Doppler for Doppler and we got the new Ursus Phase 2. I don't know why I got Italian there, I'm in Norway. We traded Albanian Doppler for an Ursus Knife Doppler Phase 2 and some really liquid play skins and also a $15 profit. To end our really short day, because the sun is only up for one hour every day, we go to Skinboard and we are again sniping a lot of items for a total of $52 of profit. Nice! Day 3 now. To prove my point how cold it was there, it was the Ducking Ocean, which is like 4 degrees, is steaming cold, okay? So I needed every jacket I could find, which led to me not being able to see a thing and getting lost in the forest there. Try some local food, which was also Ducking expensive at 55 US dollars for a single meal. And by the way, for to my Norwegian viewers down there, is this milk or something else? I mean, he, he looks like he's onto something, okay? After three more days in the land of oil, trolls, surprisingly cheap salmon, and a questionable man vacuum cleaning the engine of my aircraft, we are going back home where we will have two more days to trade to see if we really manage the challenge when we pay the bills at the end. And coming handy here is this guy that wanted to trade his factory new AK Vulcan for a lot of our play skins. Factory new Vulcans are really unliquid, it was an okay trade, but it took a few weeks to get rid of that AK. We still make $32 of profit. One of our last trades was this one. And this one. And this one. And these! Somebody approached me and said he wants to invest a few thousands of dollars into these rocks hollows. I don't know if he just invested into it or he crafted it. Not my responsibility, but he wanted a lot of them and said, Yo Neon, you have balance on pretty much all these sites, you know how to get stuff cheap, buy as many as you can. So yeah, I agreed on that, I took a legal fee, but still he got two rocks hollows more than he initially calculated. So. I'm pretty proud of that. So we bought a lot, a lot of rocks holos, okay, from different marketplaces because even though I have buff with the biggest marketplace in the world, if I would have bought all of them there, we would have paid like 120 per sticker and I was able to break it down to like 100 per sticker, which was pretty good at that time. So after all of these were bought and traded, I ended up with a profit of around 210 US dollars. So win-win for both of us. Also the little hint here guys, if you want to buy something like that or an expensive item, go to Trader. Maybe even if they don't have the item, they can make you a better price than most of these markets. And our last trade, I bought a full inventory including a Phase 2 Karambit Doppler, some good float field test snow leopards for a total of $215 of profit. And this was even just 90% buff price, so pretty good deal. And quickly as that, no way, and our seven days are over. Let's see if we made it. In total, over the last seven days, we did 79 trades, which resulted in a profit of 1,542 US dollars and 98 cents. For our travels in Norway, plus everything we bought there and eat there and something like that, we needed 899 US dollars. This is a lot of money for one week if you don't pay for any accommodation there. Which leaves us with a balance of 643.50 now to spend on my bills, which we, I still had to pay even though I didn't live here for the time, which summed up to 389 US dollars, which means we made it! Another week we survived solely on CS2 trading, even though we traveled to a foreign and ducking expensive country. 
as always, my little disclaimer here. Please be aware that I'm a known trader with a lot of experience, I have a very high budget and my YouTube also helps me finding deals. So if you want to try this challenge yourself, it will be way harder but definitely possible. But please be aware that trading also incurs many risks that might even lose your money and these profits you make are not free of any laws and taxes, so better be safe there. And yeah, I think that sums up the video pretty good, don't forget to join the giveaway my boys. I am Neon and I'll see you guys in the next one.